Hi everyone, so I have a channeled message that I'm going to share. Um, I'm getting somebody, I feel like this is for more than one person, but I feel the energy of someone really going on a downward spiral. So this is somebody who's dealing, it, it's like somebody is like on the verge of, of being in their villain era. Very basically, it's kind of the energy I'm getting. Like I'm getting, it's not just simple depression and anxiety. I get somebody's Somebody is really at war with themselves. Somebody is just fighting themselves really hard on something. And you're just, you're, somebody is going in circles. They're in their head. They just, somebody really needs to step back and ground. Because I was getting this message that if you don't slow down, your, your body is basically going to force you to slow down. That's kind of the energy that I was feeling. And I just pulled three of pentacles. So you might need to, to reach out to friends or to a counselor or to someone for some kind of support because this feels like somebody who's trying to do it all on their own. Now you might be working, this could be somebody that's working like 60, 70 hours a week, or there might be an important decision that's coming up and you're just, you're just in your head. You're just, I just get the energy. It's going to be different for everybody, but basically I just get somebody is just kind of at war with themselves. Somebody is just trying to figure something out and they're going around and around in circles. They're driving themselves crazy. They might be isolating themselves. Um, and if you, if you don't take care of this, if you don't, you know, stop and relax and go a little bit easier on yourself, your, you know, your body is going to end up forcing you to rest. Um, you know, basically you're going to be forced to take a step back and it, it, it's like you're, the, the universe is going to bring about that balance, basically, if you don't bring about the balance yourself, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Um, let's see here. And then, oh, yeah, the other message was, oh, yeah, so it was something about health. It was something like there, like you could eventually have some type of health issue if you don't fix this now. It's like the stress is becoming so severe that it's actually going to start uh, spilling over into the physical. It's not just, it's been mental for a long time or maybe even spiritual. There could be spiritual battles you've been going through, but it's, it's going to, to, uh, go over to the physical if it's not addressed eventually. So let me pull some cards on that and see what your spirit guides want to say about that. I do want to say to, with these energy groups, you know, I do feel like a lot of you that resonated with the last message where I was I was picking up on a girl that was basically being fake. She was trying to pretend to be someone that she would that she's not to get someone to like her. It's probably like an ex or someone that you're you're friends with that was wanting a second chance, but just being just being very fake and just I felt like she didn't really have a strong personality. It felt like someone that just kind of goes with the flow. They just kind of agree with everybody. And this person's been basically watching your patterns and they know what your ideal type is, is. So they're trying to pretend to be your ideal type. So I feel like those that were in that energy group might also be in this energy group as well. Um, Cause I'm, I'm getting that they're connected somehow, I think, but that's not for everybody. But I just want to say really quickly too, before I get into the reading, I just want to say when it comes to energy groups is, you know, sometimes the, sometimes the energy group is like one or two people. Sometimes it's 10 people. Sometimes it's an energy group of 20 or 30 people, but you know, never always use your intuition, always use your intuition, never take the messages if they don't resonate. You know, usually these message messages are confirmation of something that you've already been feeling. So if, if it just does not resonate at all, like if you're like if you listen to that that message that I sent that I posted yesterday about um, the girl that was being kind of fake, like if you don't feel like that's somebody that, you know, don't try to don't try to make it fit, you know, go with your intuition. It, it should resonate. It should feel right to you. It should make sense. Everything I'm saying should line up. There should be synchronicities. It should be making sense to you if it actually is your reading. I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want people to like go and, and get paranoid and think that, you know, they're, um, their housekeeper or their nanny or, you know, whoever else or someone they're friends with is like being fake and out to get them, you know, don't, don't get in your head about something like that. This, this probably would have been something that you already felt. You would have already felt fake vibes from this person. Your intuition would have been already telling you this. So this, my reading would have just been confirmation of something that you already knew. Um, you know, and readings can surprise you sometimes. I'm not saying that they can't, but they, they should still feel 
how do I explain it? It's like they should resonate. They should feel right to you. You know what I mean? Like they should, it, it should line up. Like it, it, it's, it's, your group. if you're trying to, if you're sitting here and you're trying to make it fit, then it's, it's probably not your energy group. But I just want to say that even if this particular message is not part of your energy group, I will be posting other messages as well. Sometimes I also get messages in dreams. So I've had that happen before on this channel where I've, I've had a dream that um, was for someone on this channel and then I would just post about the dream and post the message that I got from it and then someone came forward and let me know that was for them so you know that's happened before too so yeah just putting it out there that if this is not your energy group then I'm sure you know another reading in the future probably will be but anyway so for you guys what do you guys need to know the full eight of cups reversed justice four of swords Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. King of Pentacles. King of Swords. Interesting. Okay. The Chariot. The Emperor. Lots of strong masculine energy here. We got the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Emperor. I feel a couple different messages for some I feel like you've been trying to manifest love for a long time and it's just going to come in all at once like multiple people are going to be coming in wanting to date you um for others I feel like this might be you this you might be this king of pentacles king of swords emperor it's like you're you're becoming the person that you want to be um we have the empress here as well the nine of pentacles very interesting energy King of Cups. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a minute. Oh, sorry, you guys can't even see all that. I'm going to pause this for a minute just to look at the cards to get a sense on what I channel from this because I feel like it's really contradicting energy because the Fool is about a new start and then we have the Eight of Cups, but it's reversed. So the Eight of Cups upright is usually walking away. It could be starting a new life, going on a new adventure, but it's it reversed. It's it's like you're not doing that. It's almost like you're staying in the same place. I feel like you've been asking for a new life, but you've been kind of just staying where you're at. But I I this this inner there's a lot going on over here. So I gotta pause this to channel for a little bit so I'm not just rambling on. Okay, I paused to channel for a little bit and, and I just I just want to say this message is going to be kind of intense. So I don't want to offend anybody. This is going to be a very to the point message. This is like what somebody needs to hear. So I, I need to get the message out there. But basically, I, I feel like your guys are telling you to stop being so stubborn, to be honest. Um, don't shoot the messenger. I'm here to support you guys. I'm here to help you guys get on your spiritual paths and, you know, get what you want out of life. So I know sometimes the messages are harsh, but sometimes they need to come through. But it, it's like this to me, I just kept looking at the cards and looking at just the energy. And sometimes I look at the characters too. Like I looked how, how serious the, the characters are. Seven of Pentacles is about, it's about patience and perseverance and fighting for something. But if you see her, it's like she's scratching her back. Like she's bleeding. You know what I mean? It's like, this is like black swan energy, like the ballerina, but that just is so competitive, but it's like he or she just doesn't stop. Like they just don't rest. And nine of wands is the wounded warrior. That's about, you know, like a final battle. Um, it's also somebody who's been fighting battles their whole life. And I feel like this, I feel like the top row is basically, I'm getting a lot of masculine energy from this, from this reading too, especially with all these different masculine cards too. We have like three different kings here. We have the emperor. There's a little bit of feminine energy here too. Um, and you know, this could be also for, there could be some women in this energy group too, that are just in that masculine energy right now. So just, you know, take it as it resonates. There's no specific gender. But basically what I'm getting here is it's like you're asking the universe for a new start. You know, you're asking the universe to move to move forward. But because these cards are very contradictory, you know, eight of cups upright, like I said, would be, you know, moving on to, to a new phase in life. But it's, it's like reversed. It, it's like you're kind of just staying put. It's like you don't know how to move forward. You're just, you, you don't know where to go next. You're just kind of stuck. And I feel like the divine is intervening. And that was that message that I was getting that it's like, if you don't slow down, if you don't do this, you know, take a vacation, uh, 
do some healing, some shadow work, take a take a bath, do something that's just good for yourself. Just somebody here just has the weight of the world on their shoulders. It's like you have so much pressure. This could be a father as well. This could be somebody who just has maybe like elderly parents are taking care of or just feel like you have so many people that are relying on you. Um, or you have so many, it could be work as well. It could be a number of things, but it just, I just get this sense. It's going to be different for everybody, but I just get the sense that for this energy group, it's like you have so much pressure on you. You just, you have the weight of the world on your shoulders and it's like, you don't know how to relax. You don't know how to, it's like, you're just going in circles and, you know, mentally it's really, you know, I, I feel like mentally you're not in a great place right now. It's really not good for you mentally. And you have to. You have to realize too, what is it called? There's actually a term for it. There's, there's, because people use the term burnout all the time, like to be like, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm burnt out. I'll be good next week. But there's, there's an actual physical condition known as burnout. I, I don't know if it's like, I forget the rest of it, but it, it's basically called burnout. But that's when you actually burn out to the, to this point where you could need hospitalization. It, it's like burn out to the point where it can take months to get back on track. Like somebody here is kind of heading for that kind of burnout, not not the kind of burnout where you need to take a couple of days to yourself, but the kind of burnout where you're just mentally you just break. Um, or like I said, this could transition into physical issues because you're stressing yourself out so much. It's like your body is starting to to take a toll a bit too. Um and there is, you know, justice, your spirit guides intervening here and kind of forcing you to do the healing work to do the shadow work to to rest four of swords it's about rest recovery healing shadow work can be um referenced in this card too you know like you see the character too where it's like this person is just like almost in fetal position he or she is just like on the floor like they're exhausted like they've just been going and going and going and they just can't anymore and so it's one of those situations where i feel like with the justice card here it's like your spirit guys are going to come through and they're going to just you're going to be forced to basically take a rest, you know, even if you do have, you know, parents, grandparents, kids, whatever that are relying on you, if you're, if you burn out, and you just get to that point where you just mentally break you you have to realize you're not going to be any good to them, or to yourself or to anybody, you know what I mean? Like, if you allow yourself to get to that point mentally and physically, you're not going to be able to help them. And this could be somebody too who's recovering from like a physical or mental illness as well. And I feel like you're um sometimes I channel like mental illness and I'm like, I'm so careful though, because it's like on YouTube you can't really talk. I mean, you know, like legally it's like I I can't diagnose anybody with mental illness. So I'm I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not qualified to diagnose mental or physical illness. But I, I am getting that that energy that if somebody is like if you had like a like a hip injury or you had some kind of um, like your arm got injured or something or you've had to have some kind of physical energy and you keep pushing yourself, you could end up having more long term damage or it's at least going to take a lot longer for that physical ailment to heal or um you know, mentally, like let's say you have like bipolar or PTSD or some kind of other mental disorder. It's like if you're just going and going and going, you're not really, even if you're on medication, it's like you're still, how do I explain it? it it's like you're not really able to heal. It's like you're, it feels like that mental disorder might be becoming worse, if that makes sense. Um, it's like something, your spirit guides are trying to protect you. They're trying to tell you to slow down a little bit. Um, and so it's really important to listen to them with that. Because they do want whatever whatever's going on, they want you to be able to heal from this. This could also be, I mean, it could be all of the above. It could be multiple things. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna be different for everybody. For some, it's physical, some it's mental. It's there's, you know, probably at least a few different people here. But for some, I honestly feel like this is um emotional pain that somebody is going through. Like somebody doesn't want to think about their ex or they don't want to think about um I'm hearing somebody lost custody. I'm hearing there's something with children for somebody. Um, maybe the loss of a parent. I'm just getting some kind of emotional pain and it's like somebody's trying to distract themselves 
but it, it's it's not healthy not to cry. Like you have to allow yourself to cry. If you, even if you just do it by yourself, even if you're just at home and you just give yourself like a couple hours to just rest and just be really gentle with yourself, you you still, it's like somebody is trying to be so tough here with like the emperor and the king of swords. We have all these really masculine cards, but it's like somebody is trying to be so strong that they're not... It's like you're just suppressing all your emotions and they're going to come out sooner or later in uglier ways. Like there's no, somebody is trying to run from this. Somebody is trying to run from some kind of trauma or what they feel. Um, first, like for, for some of you, like I said, it's like you don't want it, to, it's like there's some kind of shadow work or something that you are, are trying to avoid because you don't want to feel that pain. It could have been something that recently happened that you're upset about and you're trying to distract yourself but you really need to let yourself cry. Like if you don't feel comfortable crying in front of others, that's fine. But like at least when you're by yourself, like let yourself cry, let yourself don't because the energy I'm getting is somebody that like tells themselves to toughen up. It's like somebody who like starts crying and then they're like, like they tell themselves men don't cry or they tell themselves it's like they're so hard on themselves. And it's like, it's just not mentally or physically healthy for you. Like you're, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're, you need to rest like you're you're holding so much in um for others it, may, it might not even be that you want to hold all this in but you just feel like you have so many responsibilities at work or other people relying on you you just feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders and like i said you have to consider that if you don't allow yourself to just take a to to put yourself first sometimes to just take a step back and do what's good for you and just you know, even even go on vacation for like a day or two, just just, you know, drive to the beach or the woods or even like 30 minutes, just like like go walk around a park or just do something that's just relaxing for yourself. Um, whatever that might be, it's going to be different for everybody, you know, whatever feels personally relaxing for you and healing for you. But but it's like one of those things where it's like it makes sense that you do have a lot of, of pressure and responsibility, but you just like I said, you have to consider that you're not going to be able to help the people that rely on you if you get to the point where you just burn out and you you can't even think clearly anymore, you know. So this is divine justice coming in and your spirit guides are basically asking you to step back and relax and get out of your head a little bit and just take a day just for yourself, just clear your energy you know, stop stressing yourself out so much. Just some of you are waiting on news and you're just, it's, you're not going to be able to find, to figure everything out right now. It's, it's time to just kind of clear your energy and just try to relax and try to ground yourself too. You can go out in nature, go someplace you trust because there are places out in nature that do kind of have like an off energy as, as weird as that might sound. So, I mean, go someplace that feels really good to you and just take your shoes off and just that's one grounding exercise is just taking your shoes off like at the beach or in the woods just like out in nature and just you know grounding yourself somebody is just very very ungrounded right now um so that was one of the main messages is just it, it's time to just relax a little bit it's time to rest before you know you before you drive yourself into you know mental issues physical issues whatever it might be the other energy I'm getting to, I feel like, I feel like somebody had a, a toxic parent, like a toxic, it's probably a masculine figure. I mean, I guess this could be a woman, but it, it feels more for, for like 80% of you, I'd say it feels like a man, like a toxic, like father or uncle or brother. Um, Cause I just get this energy where it's like. There's something about your upbringing or your childhood that you need to go back and you need to unlearn some things. Because I feel like some people in this energy group have this idea in their head. It's like they have like a very limited perception of what it means to be a good person or be a real man or be a real woman or whatever. But it's it's like, I think that you need to go back and unlearn some things because I think that somebody who is deeply... Um, either abusive or just insecure or controlling or all of the above might have put that put those ideas in your head I feel like this is somebody who probably said you know boys don't cry you need to you need to be strong you know money doesn't grow on trees life isn't easy um 
you have to work just just they it's like they wanted to instill a strong worth ec work ethic in you but it, it's kind of like it had the opposite effect like they were too hard on you you didn't get to explore your feminine side you didn't get to explore your um it's, it's like you just end up lacking a balance and it's it's almost like some of you might still be striving to like you might still have this masculine uh, voice in the back of your head. You know, you might still be striving subconsciously to impress this person, to do right by this person. Because we have these cards here where it's like seven of pentacles, nine of wands. It's it's like a final battle, but it's it's almost like you don't know when to stop fighting. It's almost like somebody who's just so used to Maybe someone who even had a, a like a Viking past life I'm getting to. Um, I did as well, so I understand that energy. But it, it's like somebody who just has that. It's like they have a warrior spirit, but it's like at the same time, it's like you're so out of balance. Like you don't, it, it's like somebody doesn't know when to rest. They don't know when to stop. This is like somebody who will just fight and fight and fight just because it's, it's what they're, it's all they know. It's what they're used to. They're used to having to be strong. They're used to having to be nine of pentacles. They're used to having to be independent. You know, they're used to having to be alone. They're used to having to take care of everything on their own. And I feel like, I feel like you're trying to become the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is, this is like divine masculine energy. Same with emperor. It's, it's like the king of pentacles is loyal. He's grounded. He's stable. He's, he's mature. He's um, successful. He's, you know, he's just very balanced, very, very down to earth, very well grounded. And I feel like you, you're trying to be like this person, which is a good thing that that is a good thing to strive for. But I think that for this energy group, the way that you're going about trying to be this person isn't working for you because you're going, how do I explain this? It's, it's like you're trying to be this king of pentacles, which is a really good thing to aspire to be. But it's, it's like you're not sure how to get there. And I feel like you're going off of old subconscious patterns, like old subconscious programming to get to this point. Does that make sense to you guys? Let me know if, if that if I need to clarify that. I know it's a little bit complicated. Um, it's, a, it's a strange energy I'm getting, but it's it's like, okay, so it's like you're trying to be the king of pentacles. You're trying to, it's like you have this vision of the kind of man or the kind of woman that you want to be. It's like you want to be grounded. You want to be mature. You want to be honest, loyal, reliable, uh, mentally, physically stable, financially stable. You want to have... Um, you might be working out, going to the gym. It's like you're, you're, you might be saving money for a house or saving money for things. It's like, you're really putting a lot of energy into being the person you want to be. And that's a really good thing. It's not saying, you know, your spirit guides aren't saying that you're doing anything wrong by doing that. Like they want you to be this person. They want you to have these blessings. But the thing is, I feel like you're going about getting them, getting to this point the wrong way, because you have this old programming that comes from you know, a toxic childhood where you had this, you know, you had one or more people in your life that kind of put that idea in your head that like, you know, men don't cry. Um, you have to toughen up. Like you didn't get a chance to explore your feminine side. You didn't get a chance to, um, you know, pursue your hobbies or do things that were fun. It, it, it's like, you just had to, some of you, it's almost like your parents might have, um, it's like they didn't fulfill their dreams, so they tried to to do that through you. Like they tried to put all this pressure on you to to be successful. Like let's say somebody wanted to be like a doctor or a lawyer or something or a cop, and they never did it. So they tried to put that idea in your head to do that to that you wanted to do that. And now, you know, you might be finding out that that's not actually what you want. But anyway, that was just for somebody. But let me get back to the point. But it but yeah, it's like you're trying to be this King of Pentacles. Or Queen of Pentacles, but but yeah, it's like you have this idea in your head, like from from you know this toxic parent or this toxic figure in your life. It's like boys don't cry, or um, what other energy am I getting here? Like just this energy of having to be strong all the time, of having to be independent, of not being able to trust anybody. You know, I feel like this was somebody who was very bitter, very jaded, so they kind of. 
they kind of projected that onto you like you know love is for the weak or emotions are for the weak like you don't it's a killer be killed world you don't want to let people know what you're up to you don't want to let people know how you feel because they'll use it against you um you know it's, it's like they just made you feel like you had to be strong all the time and you might have had to be strong for this parent as well you might have had to kind of raise yourself and kind of be um you know in, in that relationship too you might have just had to I just feel like they kind of dimmed your light, honestly. I feel like you used to be more, like, as a child or, or beforehand, it's like you used to be more almost, like, innocent and uh, in, in touch with your emotions. And it's kind of like this person just made you feel like emotions are weakness. They just made you feel like like everyone's out to get you. Like, you just, you know what I mean? And it's like that. that's kind of – that's the issue is is basically it's like you're you're pulling from that. You're – they put that idea in your head that that's how you get to success, that you get to success by like walking over people or, you know, like, like c competition can be good in a way, but it's almost like overly competitive or they're like, you know, you can't rely on anybody. You just have to be strong. You have to be alone all the time. And so it's like, you're trying to take on so much by yourself and you're trying to get here by yourself. Um, but it's like, honestly, I think you're you're more in the King of Swords energy, the King of Swords to be I know that's harsh, but the King of Swords is more emotionally detached, um, kind of cold, just very guarded, very distrusting. So it's like you keep trying to get to be this King of Pentacles, but then you end up falling into this King of Swords energy instead and, and being this King of Swords instead because of this, these these subconscious or conscious, maybe maybe a mix of both you know, beliefs that you have ingrained from, um, from childhood, basically. So it's like, you're just trying to like go and go and go. And you don't understand why you keep feeling so lost, why you feel so disconnected from your soul, or you feel so disconnected from from who you are and from who you want to be. Like, you just feel like there's so much, um, you know, just so much confusion, like so much is kind of like lost in this darkness in a way. It's like this person just had such an imbalanced perspective on on life, on love, on pretty much everything. Um, and so it just feels like even when you do accomplish something, it's like you don't feel good about it. You don't feel complete. You know what I mean? Like even if you buy the house or you buy the car or the new car or you or you get the promotion at work, it's like you're still just striving for more because it's like you're, you know, you feel this emptiness. It's like you're out of touch with your soul. You're not being your true self. So like you know, if you look back, it's like all the goals that you've been trying to meet when you meet them, there's, there's just a new goal to take its place. It's like, you're just, it's, I'm hearing that, that song, that, um, um, placebo song running up that hill. I know placebo is, I, I know that's not the original, um, singer of that. I know that's not the original, uh, I know it's just a cover. I know that it's, I think Kate Hill or Kate Bush. I don't know. But anyway, I'm hearing that song running up that hill. Um, that's kind of the energy I'm getting where it's like, you know, you, you complete something and then there's just, there's, you, uh, you immediately, you don't even let yourself rest. You immediately have another goal. You would just constantly running on empty. Um, so your spirit guides are basically saying, it's like, do you really want that to be your life? Do you want to keep, you know, running up that hill? Do you want to keep going down that same path again and again and just not resting? Or do you want to go back and do you want to look at these childhood wounds and look at these patterns, look at this, whoever this was that, you know, put these toxic beliefs in your head, like, was this, you know, do some shadow work on it, basically, like, ask yourself, like, was this person really happy? Or was this person alone and kind of bitter? And kind of just dragging you dragging you down with them? You know what I mean? Like, it was this person really like this person that put these ideas of, of in your head of of what it means to be successful, like were they actually even really successful? Like I'm guessing for most of you, the answer is probably no. Like they were probably very bitter. They were probably very unhappy, very lonely, um, very angry at the world. And you know, people go through phases where they're like that. There's nothing wrong with that. I've I've you know I've been angry at the world plenty of times. Like it happens, but it's somebody who just kind of stayed in that energy for years. It's like somebody who just, maybe they lost someone or they got screwed over and they just, they were just done with everybody and they just stayed in that energy. 
and then they taught their their child or their their niece or nephew or whoever however you guys are connected it's like they taught you to just kind of be the same way they they it's like they they just put this wall around their heart they just stopped feeling they stopped living their life they stopped finding passion in life and then they just you know they felt safe that way and they just tried to convince everyone else around them that that was just the way to be that's that's the key to success that's you know just you you don't have anyone but yourself kind of person um so yeah, it, it's it's like, you know, if you want to be this king of pentacles, you have to go back and you have to look at this and you have to, you know, like I said, ask yourself those questions. Was this person really happy? Is this really somebody that you want to be like? Do you really want to repeat these patterns? Do you really want to be like this parent or this brother or sister or whoever this was, or this uncle, whoever this was to you? Do you really want to be like this person? Um... Because I think that you need to to basically um, there needs to be a perspective shift here where you develop your own views of what it means to be successful, what it means to be happy, what it means to um, to be passionate about passionate about life, you know, because it just it feels like this person. I feel like they did need love. Like, I don't think, I think they told you they didn't need love and they told everyone around them. They're like, you know, you're better off alone. But I honestly feel like deep down, this person was very, very lonely. Like they might've, I think they just, I think they just kind of gave up. And, and so it's like, you know, you, like you do need love. Like you do need that support. You do need that balance. Um, so yeah, basically, you know, your spirit guides are saying like they see your effort, they see that you've been trying to be this king of pentacles, but if you truly want to be this king of pentacles, like I said, you have to go back and do the shadow work and look at the past and and clear this energy up and separate from this energy and um and basically find your own way in life. You know what I mean? It's it's almost like starting over in a way, but not not in a bad way, but in in a really positive way. It, it's almost like some of you are afraid of starting over because it's like you don't you, you don't like the unfamiliarity. You don't like being out of your comfort zone. It's like it almost makes you feel like a child again where you're like, well, like, shit, like, what do I do? Like, what are my hobbies? What are my passions? Like, where am I going? It's like you feel lost, but it, it's like, OK, it's it's fine. Just just act like you are a child. You know what I mean? Like, act like you're a child who's just who's who's making new friends for the first time, who's learning what kind of foods they like, who's learning, um, uh, you know, what kind of sports they like, what kind of activities they like. It's totally okay to have that innocent childlike mentality of just like kind of starting over and, and making your life what you want it to be and going down the path that feels right for you. Um, but yeah, it's basically saying if you keep, if you hold on to these, these ideas though, this, this mentality, um, this trauma, whatever this was, it's like, if you hold on to it, you're going to keep being the king of swords. You're going to keep being this person's definition of successful, which is cold, guarded, alone, distrusting. Um, you know, so if you want to be your actual definition of successful, which is the king or queen of pentacles, you know, loyal, grounded, uh, stable, mature, all of those things, you're going to have to it's like you're going to have to kind of pave your own way. You're going to have to to um to not be so impressionable and to um kind of just you know, like I said, just clear your head and just find out figure out what success looks like to you. Figure out what this um just almost like it's it's almost like developing a whole new belief system in a way. And 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 finding that balance because yeah, it, it's like, yeah, sometimes you do have to be kind of, you know, careful with people because it's like, yeah, that you know, people can be really shitty. But like I said, this person was so imbalanced. It's like this person just thought everybody was just horrible. You know what I mean? Like they just they did not trust anybody. They didn't even trust themselves, really, you know. So it's it's kind of like, you know, you're going to have to relearn. It, it's, it's that's I guess that's the word I'm looking for is relearn. You're going to have to go back and and go back to the past to do the, to do the shadow work and and relearn some things, you know. Um, you can even do some journaling, possibly be like, okay, like what did, 
you know, what did success look like to this person versus what success looks like to me? What is what is being happy look like to me? Um, what do I really want out of life? Like, let's say this person was okay being alone. You have to ask yourself, like, okay, like, do you want that? Are you really in alignment with that? Or do you want to find love? Do you want you know, do you want it? Are you more social than this person? Like you have to, it's almost like your energy is like enmeshed with this person where it's like, you have to kind of find yourself again. It's like, you're not, you have to separate yourself from them and really like hear your own inner, inner voice again. And I'm just getting journaling. Like, I feel like some of you really need to do that by, by journaling and asking yourself these really important, honest questions. And then I think you're going to start seeing it. It's almost like you're going to start seeing the pattern where you're like, wait a minute, like, like I have, like my beliefs are so different than this person's. And it's it's almost like it's going to be like a surprise to you where you're like, wait a minute, like, why did I, why did I stay in this pattern for so long? Like, why did I continue to be stagnant for so long? And yeah, once you do that, once you do the healing and the shadow work and just really finally being honest with yourself, really like looking at these patterns, deciding, having the integrity, having the assertiveness to decide, you know, what you want out of life. And even if you don't completely know who you are yet, because of this, you know, these patterns and this trauma, it's like finding out who you are, you know what I mean? Like going out and doing, you know, being adventurous and trying new things and going out and having fun. And, um, you know, like, like, if, like I said, if you're somebody who just has been working and working and working to the point where you haven't, you know, maybe in your life, you just haven't had the chance to develop hobbies just because you've always been working so hard. You've, they instilled such a strong work ethic in you. Well, it's like, okay, well, like go try things. You know what I mean? Like go take a class or go, um, just go look up fun things to do in your area or even out of town or, um, just try something that seems like it might be interesting. And if you don't like it, then just, you know, try something else. Like just go, whether it's sports or, or dancing um, or painting or just there's so many different hobbies that you could have, you know, so many different things that you could do. Um, so it's like just try different things and you're going to over time, it's like, you know, you start developing that sense of self. It's like, you know, like I said, kind of approaching it like a child who's just getting out into the world for the first time and, and it's like relearning these things and, and um, yeah, just figuring out who you want to be. And I, I feel like once you relearn those things, once you, you know, stand on your own, it's like you're going to be able to, to, it's like there's been confusion because you keep ending up being the king of swords when you're trying to be this person. But if you just, if you do those things, I feel like you're going to be able to be the king of pentacles. And I'm hearing use your intuition too, because there might be things that I'm not listing that you need to do as well that you, that you know, you need to do, you know what I mean? Like certain just energy that needs to be cleared and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I feel like when you do that, I feel like, cause I feel like you're king of cups energy. I feel like you've suppressed this part of yourself. This is like the emotional, um, emotional, mature, just grounded part of yourself. And I feel like once you do these things, once you have more of this balance within you, for some, I feel like your body language makes you seem closed off to potential suitors as well. But once you do these things, it's like you're going to have that balance. I feel like the emperor and empress here, I feel like it's talking about like a divine match. So it's like, you know, doing the healing work, I think for one thing is actually going to bring in love for you. Um, I also feel like this is talking about a balance of your masculine and feminine energies. Because it's like a lot of people, how do I explain this energy? I think I was talking about it in my last reading too, where I was saying, you know, like the king of, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to put anybody down. I'm, I'm not, I hope this does not come off the wrong way. But the king of swords, in my opinion, is not like a true alpha male. Like this is, the king of swords is somebody who's cold, who's guarded, who's distrusting. Um... And I don't think that you're like, like, I don't think that you're like the type of person who's just, you know, starting fights at bars all the time and competing and just yelling over people and, you know, just talking over everyone and just constantly bragging. But like, I don't think that you're like that. But I just want to put that example out there. That's like, there's a lot of men that thinks that think that that's what it means to like be a real man. And I don't think they realize I don't think they realize that, 
you know, that's for a genuinely confident woman, that's such a huge turnoff. Like, like most, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's not sexy, but there's so many people who grow up in these, you know, toxic environments with these abusive childhoods. And it's like, they don't know any better. And it's like, so they're trying to be a real man and they, they end up being overly macho and just competitive with everybody all the time for no reason and just bragging and just, you know, just, ugh. It, it's just, it's not a, it's not a sexy energy, but a true, like divine masculine, like a true alpha male. It's like, he knows how to be assertive. He knows how to be dominant in the right ways. He knows how to be in control in the right ways. Um, you know, he takes action. He goes after what he wants. So he does have that masculine energy for sure. But I feel like genuine alpha males, it's like they're not the ones that are bragging and just screaming all the time and just competing all the time. You know, a true alpha male is probably the guy at the bar that's just like sitting there and just observing everybody. You know, like an alpha male, it's like he knows who he is. He knows what he wants. Um, and he is able to step up and take action and be assertive when it calls for it. Like he has that strong, dominant, assertive side. You know, it's it's like he knows how to take care of, of, of himself and the people around him. Like it's a very sexy energy. Um, but you see what I mean, how different that energy is. It's like they're both assertive in a way, like both these two people are assertive in a way, but it's like one is assertive in the sense where it's like they're actually taking care of things. The other is just like insecure and they're just trying to fill a void for that insecurity. You know, and like you can tell that they're insecure. They're not genuine. Whereas an actual alpha, it's like they just, like I said, they just kind of sit and observe, but they take action. They're they're assertive. They're they know how to step up and be a leader. They know how to take control in the right ways. And they also are in touch with their feminine side too. They have that balance, the best of both worlds. They know how to they they know how to um you know, express their emotions too. They know how to, they let themselves cry. They let themselves be emotional. They, they find that balance. They, they, they know how to express themselves creatively. They know how to express their emotions. Um, it's like, they just, they, you know, they go after what they want. So there's that, there's that balance of, you know, masculine, feminine energies. They have the gentle side they have that empathetic side and then they also have the strong dominant side. It's like they have both. They 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 merge it. That's that's an incredibly sexy energy. And that's what you're coming into. That's what you're going to be. It's like I feel like this is what, like I said, what you've been trying to be. And I feel like you are going to be balancing these masculine and feminine energies and becoming this person once you do this shadow work and do this healing. Um, because the chariot too is about moving forward. So let me pull some more cards and see if there's any more messages here. And like I said, I'm not attacking anybody. I'm not saying, you know, I'm just, I'm putting that out there too, because I feel like a lot of men also just, they don't realize like what, um, like genuinely confident women find sexy. Like a lot of men really genuinely feel like being super loud and just aggressive for no reason is sexy. It's like, or like talking over people. A lot of men just like, they don't realize it. They don't realize there's so many other ways it, it's like like I said it's like the emperor is still assertive he's still dominant he still has that very strong masculine energy he's still a leader he steps up and, and takes care of things he's a provider he's a protector type he gets things done that's a very sexy energy but do you see what I mean how that the emperor being assertive is it's genuine it's honest it's 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 like a woman feels safe with that kind of man they feel like you know, that kind of man can take the lead in the right ways, you know, as her equal. Um, and she'll trust him to take the lead. Whereas it's like a king of swords type. It's like, yeah, he's being assertive, but he's being assertive for selfish reasons. He, he's being assertive for, you know what I mean? It's just all about himself. It's all about his insecurities and his ego. And it's, it's just women can sense that too. 
And that's also why there ends up being a power struggle, I feel like, in a lot of relationships too, because it's like, when a man is leading from his ego, when he's not a genuine emperor type, when he's like more in that king of swords energy and he's just kind of leading from, you know, pride, fear, ego, um, it's like a woman won't really feel safe to let a man like that lead. You know what I mean? Like she doesn't trust a man like that to be in a leadership role. So there ends up being a power struggle because she doesn't really feel safe, you know, letting him take control. Like she could really want a man to take control again in the right ways. I'm not talking about like toxic ways or her being less than him or anything like that. But I just mean in um, like just just taking control in the right ways, can take, taking control and being assertive in positive ways. It's It's like, you know, when a man's doing that, it's like there's a different level of... Um, of trust there. You know what I mean? Like, like a king of swords taking control in the wrong ways. It's like, she's just, she's not going to feel safe. She's going to feel like he doesn't know what the hell he's doing with that control. He doesn't know he's not able to be a real leader, even if he tries to appear like one. So he doesn't know where he's taking them. He, he like, she doesn't feel safe. She doesn't feel secure in the direction he's taking the relationship or just taking them in general. And so there's, there ends up being that power struggle. So anyway, but you, you're becoming that, you're, you're tuning into that emperor energy, you know, balancing your masculine and feminine sides, um, becoming the person you want to be. I feel like you are starting to do the shadow work. So it's a really good energy here. Are there any more messages that want to come out? I guess this one wants to come out. The star. Eight of cups reversed again. Judgment. justice yeah it's just kind of reiterating what um what I was saying earlier like in the beginning of that reading where it was it was basically saying it's like you're asking for this new life because the star is about planting seeds it's like hope wishes being fulfilled you know you can see it's like she's trying to it's like she's trying to manifest something here she's planting the seeds here he or she the eight of cups reversed it's like you're not really starting a new life so and I think this is you as, as well. It's like, you're going to be making that judgment call now. And you're going to be like, okay, how do I get on board with my spirit guides? How do I have that divine justice? And yeah, I feel like a lot of you are going to be going out and having fun. Like, like I said, you just, you really need to slow down. You really need to ground yourself. Um, I just kept getting the energy of somebody just being so at war with themselves. I'm hearing that that Fro Fro song. Uh, I think it, is, is there an, is that band called Fro Fro? It's I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but <laughs> it's that song Beauty in the Breakdown. It's um, if you guys have ever seen Garden State, that's a really good movie. But it's it's uh, it's at the end of uh, the movie Garden State. There's that song that comes up. So I'm thinking about that song right now. That might be the lyrics might be might resonate for somebody here. Um, but yeah, I just, I kept getting, it's, it's like this tension. It's like these, these sides of yourself that are at war with each other. And, and like I said, it, it makes sense too, with the cards that I was getting, the King of Swords versus the King of Pentacles, like who you're trying to be, who you want to be and who your family or who society taught you to be. Like those two things are at odds and there's two very different perspectives here. So I feel like you're about to do the shadow work, the healing, you're about to make a judgment call so you can have this justice and you're going to be, you know, opening up to a new perspective, to a new way of seeing things, to, like I was saying, a new definition of success. Um, and for some of you, I also feel like, you know, making your life what you want it to be. Like, even if your family, let's say your family were all cops and you're like, you know what, I don't want this anymore. That's fine. You can go do something else. It, it's one of those things where you're, you're creating, you're going to start creating your life to be what you want it to be instead of what you were taught it should be or what you were taught it should look like, basically. The Empress, the Angel de la Nut, King of Swords, Four of Cups reversed, King of Cups. Yeah, I think you're going to be coming out of stagnation to be this person, to be this, to, to, channel to get into this king of cups energy to get back in touch with your emotional side get back in touch with your passion for life with um your adventurous side with your fun side with 
you know, the King of Cups is, Cups are about emotion. So the King of Cups is a more, you know, he's emotionally mature. He's emotionally stable. You know, getting back in touch with your romantic side and, and yeah, just relearning so many things. And I feel like when you do that too, I feel like your Queen of Wands comes in or your King of Wands, male or female, but hanged man to me. Some people see this as a bad card because it's like the person's kind of stuck, but at the same time, it's like, it's like a pause and rest and reflection, but I always see this as a positive card because it's like they're letting go of something so that they can have this new perspective. They're changing the way that they, this is you, you know, you're changing the way that you see people, relationships, the world, your career. It's like you're going through this beautiful perspective shift and I feel like it's leading you to become the person you want to be. And it's also leading you to be with the person that you want to be with as well. It's also bringing in true love. I think your true love is a woman that has a balance of, um, so queen of wands and queen of pentacles. I'm kind of feeling like this is one woman though. And it could be, like I said, it could be a male. It could be a king of wands and king of pentacles for some. But I'm getting that I have mostly male viewers on this specific video. So I feel like this is probably, you know, but it could be gay or lesbian as well. You know, everyone's welcome here. So it's, it's you know, don't get caught up on gender. But anyway, I feel like your person is somebody who has, it's like fire energy and earth energy. So they could have a lot of that in their chart. I also feel like this is somebody who has that balance. It's like they're passionate, they're charismatic, they're... um they have that fiery energy, but they're also loyal and grounded and stable. And it's like when you have this new perspective, I feel like you also move towards this. It's like you're manifesting this person, even if you haven't met them yet. And then the sun is the most positive card in the deck. Because I feel like, you know, I feel like you couldn't... How do I explain that? In in your old perspective or in the, the perspective that's trying to, it, it's like you're going through a death and rebirth process and your spirit guides are pushing for that. They've been pushing you to just, you know, you have every, the weight of the world on your shoulders and it's like you've gotten so out of touch with yourself and so out of touch with your romantic and emotional side that you probably wouldn't even notice this person if they were around you. Like you might not see this person or they might not resonate with you or you might not resonate with them or they might um they might not have the patience for you like they might not give you how do I explain it they might just see your walls and just assume that that's who you are and not even give this a second chance like they might this might be somebody who's very confident and not very you know they might not be very patient when it comes to dating so it's one of those things where they they want this person for you, but they want you to come to, they want to make sure this person doesn't reject you and that you don't reject them. They want to make sure you guys come together in the right energy so that this person isn't just seeing your walls and thinking that there's, there's not thinking that you're just shallow or thinking that you're toxic or just, you know, not really getting a chance to really know who you are. So, you know, that could, for some, that could be why your love life has been delayed is they just, they want to make sure you're being your true authentic self. And that's, I mean, that that's the best way to manifest what you really want. And especially when it comes to love too, it, it's like, you, you know, you have to kind of be your true self if you want to manifest people that are going to resonate with who you really are on a deeper level. Five of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be learning to find that balance but between working hard but also having that that peace and that stability and, and, again, exploring hobbies. Even if you have no hobbies at all right now, like I said, just go out and do something that looks like it might be fun. If, if you don't end up liking it, just do something else. Like try different things until you find things that stick. Um, but yeah, it's like I feel like you're, you're coming out of this anxiety and this energy and it's like you have this new start, especially when it comes to love and just like renewed passion for life, like getting back in touch with your emotional romantic side. Um, and finding that balance between being a hard worker and having a strong work ethic and um, 
you know, having peace and stability. It's really good to find that balance too and not. Um, I think that's, I think that journaling is really going to help you, whether it's regular journaling or dream journaling. I would really even just get a regular journal. I mean, even just get like a regular notebook. It doesn't matter. Just, just find something and just start writing in it. Um, automatic writing too, that might be a good thing to look into. Just, just start writing. I'm getting that something, someone really needs to start writing. I'm actually getting that for one of you. I feel like you're meant to be a writer or you're meant to write a book is kind of what I'm feeling. Like that might've been a dream that you had, but you felt like it wasn't realistic and your spirit guides want you to get back into writing. But, um, but yeah, I think the cards are saying too, just about finding that balance that some of you might be tempted to like go to the other extreme where it's like you've been in that king of swords extreme. So it's, it's kind of saying it's like, you know, finding that balance. You don't have to just completely discredit every single thing that toxic person told you. Maybe there are some, maybe there was some good advice. Maybe this person taught you to like kind of be cautious around new people, you know, kind of feel people out. But like take it and make it your own. You know what I mean? Like whereas this person's perspective might have been, you know, people are people are garbage. Everybody's going to hurt you. You you don't have anyone be, but yourself. Like, I mean, some things you might want to just just discredit and be like, I don't want that. That's not that's not who I am. And that's fine. It's just do what feels right for you. You're not it, it's your life. You're making it what you want to be. It's it's, you know, um, but but basically looking at, at thought patterns like that and thinking, OK, well, like maybe there's a little bit of truth to that. You know, there is I should be a little guarded with people, but no, not all people are garbage. Like some people are good. But yes, there was some truth to that where I should, you know, people can be shitty. So I should be careful. I should use my intuition. I should try to read people to the best of my ability. You know, so it's like you're still you're still taking a little bit of that, but you're making it your own and you're developing your own um belief you're finding your own perspective you know you're finding what resonates for you personally I feel like so many people too that it's like they look for these absolute truths and there there's honestly very few absolute universal truths out there for the most part it, it's like there it's all it, it comes down to perception it's what works for you you know what I mean like for some people, positive thinking, positive vibes only works. Like I've never been like that. Like that doesn't resonate with me, but it works for them. And I'm, I'm, I can't tell them they're wrong for that. Like that's, that's their path. It's up to them. You know what I mean? So it's like, you have to really find what works for you, what resonates for you, what, what feels right for you on a soul level. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody else, but you. Page of Swords, Page of Cups. Could be a love message that you're either getting or that you need to send as well. And I think that that's coming in soon. Um, page of Wands. Lots of page energy. Pages are often about messages. And it's also about new starts too. Like pages are kind of like the youngest members of the court cards. So I think it's also kind of telling me it's like, you know, like, like I was saying, like, see it like the way a child would see it, where it's like, you're doing all these things. Like it's okay to be in the unknown. It's okay for these things to be unfamiliar. Um, you know, just, just approach it. Like you're just like, this is your first time, um, like, like you're a child or like it's like your first time in like a new country it's like just explore you know just kind of explore the world kind of make the world your playground in a way um and just finding yourself and developing your own perspective and your own opinions on things is really important really crucial right now but yeah that, that's basically the energy i get that basically sums it up i mean the the, the big inner the main energy i was feeling before i started this video, like what I've been channeling the past few days or so is just, I was getting the possible health issues if someone doesn't slow down. And then I was also, I just felt like a tension. Like it just felt like somebody was just at war with themselves. So it's, it's like, yeah, you have to, you got to see your subconscious patterns, see how you've been at war with yourself, see how you've been self-sabotaging and, and take a step back to, you know, change those patterns, to fix those patterns, to, um, to, yeah, clear that energy and even go see a counselor if you feel like it's going to help, if you feel like it's necessary. Maybe you need some help, you know, because we did get the Three of Pentacles or I think I, maybe I pulled that beforehand, but I, I was getting that energy of like, 
you know, you do need support. You can't keep doing this all on your own. You can't keep holding it all in. You can't keep fighting yourself. You can't keep fighting your emotions and holding your emotions back. You can't keep denying your feminine side. You can't keep denying the romantic side of yourself and the emotional side of yourself. Like you're so out of balance right now. It's just, it's not going to work to keep going on like this. You have to balance these different energies inside of you and be your true self and clear these energies and get support from people. Get support. If, if you don't have anybody in your life, just get support from a counselor or from, um, like going be, and being out in nature, just journaling, talking to somebody. It, it's, it's like, you know, really, um, yeah, just, just, just really uh, doing what you need to do to, to not be at war with yourself, to be in alignment with who you truly are, to be, to get back into that energy of just loving life again and letting things flow naturally to you. Um, and that's really how you're going to be most successful too. Like if you notice like the, the people that are just hustling and they're just working and working and working, like it's never enough for those people. They're always exhausted. They might have a lot of money, but they don't have anything to show for it. They don't have time to go on vacation or travel or go to the beach or, or do anything really. Um, or be out in nature in the woods. It's like they, they're just constantly going, going, going. But money is an energy. Like when you start, you know, doing the things we talked about and, and again, maybe doing, maybe adding some stuff in there too. Just like I said, make it, make your healing plan your own, make it whatever feels right for you. Even if I, if I say something and it doesn't resonate, like if I'm like, if, if positive thinking works for you and like I say that that doesn't work for me, that's fine. It, it's like I said, it's your life. It's whatever works for you personally. You have to figure out what those things are that really resonate with you. You have to figure out what your soul wants, what your what your true perception is. Um, you know, you have to kind of find your own way in life and, and you know, figure out these beliefs. Because um, like what works for you isn't going to work for other people and vice versa. So it's really time to listen to yourself above everybody else. But um, where was I going with that? <laughs> oh, I was talking about alignment. So like, so yeah, like like those people that are just working and working, even if they have a lot of money, they're miserable. They're not happy. Like I've met millionaires who are just absolutely miserable and alone. You know what I mean? So it, it's like, it, and not saying money is bad, but it's just one of those things where. Um, you know, you, if you get into alignment, if you start being your true self and things start flowing, then it's like, you can have success with money, but also in other areas, it's like, you've just been focused on one area of your life for the most part, but it's like, you know, you can have money and love and abundance and creativity and just all these, you know, friendships and all these other areas of your life that just come together and just finding that balance and being fulfilled in multiple ways. Um, and, and like I said, a lot of people like, it's like, they're not, those people usually aren't overworking. It's like, they're working with what they can handle with what, with what resonates with them. You know what I mean? Like they're giving to all these different, they're not putting all their eggs in one basket. It's like they're, they're, they, they make sure every aspect of their life is, is in balance and fulfilled. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Um, please comment below if that helped you even just leaving like a heart react comment. I really appreciate it because I'm trying to get back on the YouTube algorithm again and get these videos out there again. So um, it really it helps a lot when you guys comment. I really appreciate it. And I like hearing your comments and hearing your stories too. Um, if this is your story too, please feel free to subscribe. And I do private readings as well. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. And that email is right below in the description box. Thank you for watching.